In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Verse. Another verse Christians used to prove Jesus Christ's divinity is, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John chapter 1, verse 1. The Bible goes on to say that the Word became flesh. First, it is imperative to know that these words are not the words of Jesus Christ. Rather, the words of a Greek-speaking Jewish philosopher named Philo Alexandra in Egypt, who never claimed he was divinely inspired, and had written before the birth of Jesus Christ and John, as recognized by Christian scholars. If you peruse a red-letter Bible that contains all of Jesus' words in red, you will notice that this quote is not in red, because Jesus Christ did not say it. Secondly, it is essential to note that the English Bible wrongfully translated both the Greek words hoteos and tonteos in this verse to mean God, which changes their meaning entirely. Capital letters are used to start a proper noun in English, and lowercase letters start a common noun. But this system does not exist in Greek or Hebrew. In this verse, the first occurrence of the word God is the Greek word hoteos, which means the God. Used with a capital G, it denotes a proper noun, meaning God, the Almighty above, the Father. The second occurrence of the word God in this verse is the Greek word tonteos, which means a God with a lowercase g, which translates to mean godly, a godly person, a messenger, etc., and is not referring to God the Almighty above, the Father. This critical difference between the capital G and the lowercase g should be translated correctly in the English Bible as it changes the meaning entirely. However, the English Bible does not relay this. A consistent Christian system of translation would have spelled the second god, Tonteos, with a lowercase g, rendering Tonteos to mean a god. This verse should read, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, hoteos meaning God the Almighty above, the Father, and the word was God, tonteos meaning a prophet, Jesus Christ was a prophet. If you don't read it correctly, taking both words to mean God with a capital G, you would be reading, In the beginning was God, God was with God, and God was God, which makes no sense. As mentioned above, the second word in this verse, tonteos, does not necessarily mean God the Father. The same term, tonteos, is used in other verses to mean a God, but not refer to God in the heavens. For example, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 states, Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who do not believe. This verse says that Satan is ruling over them and is not saying that Satan is the God because a small g was used. The word tonteos was used, which again means a God as some take Satan as their God. The word tonteos with a lowercase g is used in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1 because prophet Moses, peace be upon him, is not the God but rather is a godly person and a prophet, as it states, Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you like a god to Pharaoh, and your brother Aaron will be your prophet. John chapter 1 verse 14 states, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, because Jesus Christ was a human messenger of flesh and blood. If Jesus Christ were a god born in the form of a human baby, that would imply that a god who is supposed to be perfect with unlimited power and godly attributes would lose all that divinity when being born into a human body, because humans are imperfect with limited attributes that require them to eat, drink, and sleep. This would be a huge contradiction, as God does not need any of that.